The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of this honest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much. And whoever is dishonest in a very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust to you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or to be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The Pharisees, who were lovers of money, heard all this, and they ridiculed Jesus. So he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts, for what is prized by human beings is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading in the Gospel today speak about money. And we often hear it said that money is the root of all evil. This is a misquote from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, that says, the love of money is the root of all evil. The Dewey Rames translates it better, saying, the desire for money is the root of all evil. Money is neither good nor evil. It is good when used and earned for good, and evil when it is used for evil or earned in dishonest means. Which is why Jesus said in today's gospel, you cannot serve God and wealth. The Greek is more descriptive. You are not able to slave for God and money. Being a slave means to be owned by someone. And Jesus gives us a choice. Do I want to be a slave of God where I will be free to live the life he has planned for me? Or do I want to be a slave to money where every moment of my life is dedicated to pursuing it. There's nothing wrong with finding work to earn money. In fact, as Christians, we are expected to provide for the needs and some luxuries for our family or to save for the future. But when we become slaves to money, then we worship it as an idol. Wisdom, chapter 14, verse 27, tells us, For the worship of abominable idols is the cause and the beginning and the end of all evil. When money becomes our God, then we become slaves of money. Then the desire for money becomes excessive, and this becomes evil. St. Paul shows us in the first reading that he has learned to live in abundance and in little. COVID-19 has affected everyone, and we have reduced our expenses to what is essential because a lot of us have been affected financially. And when we are in a situation where our finances are affected, when we are having a hard time making ends meet, the first reading reminds us that my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. The psalm today tells us, blessed are those who fear the Lord, their hearts are steady, they will not be afraid. Is it terrifying not to have a job with mouths to feed? Yes, of course. In this, these situations, we hold on, 
not by willpower or by believing in ourselves, but we hold on to the word of God on what St. Paul said in the first reading, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We believe and we trust in Jesus Christ who strengthens us and who will provide for all our needs. And some may ask, so what shall I do if I have no job, if I find it hard to make ends meet? The answer to this question is to fear God. By fear, I do not mean being afraid of God. Sirach chapter 2 gives a description of how it is to fear God. It is to stand in awe and wonder of God. Because when we stand in awe and wonder of God, we have confidence that nothing is impossible for God. This confidence leads us to trust in Him, and this trust must have a corresponding action, since faith without action is dead. So I propose three things to make visible our trust in God. First is to pray. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 tells us to come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. This is your time of need. And if this is your time of need, come boldly to God because he is your father who cares for you and he will provide for you. We find a job or a source of income not because of our skills, not because of our experience, or even of the people that we know. God is the source of our income. And we remember this when we read scripture or adore the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament or come to Mass. Today being the first Saturday, we ask Our Lady to help. We ask Saint Joseph to help because those who trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. Second is to discern how God wants us to see our situation. Ask God for wisdom to see your situation from his perspective, because God may want to lead you to something that you have not considered. Third is to give some money Discern where God wants you to give money and how much he wants to, you to give. One may ask, I am finding it hard to make ends meet, and you ask me to give money? I'm not asking you to give all your money, but by giving away some of our money, we do an act of rebellion against the idol of money, showing that we will not let it control us that we will not let fear and doubt control us because we trust in God. And God is faithful. He will we will never outdo God in generosity. As I said, it is difficult to trust God when we are in difficult situations. And this is a natural reaction. But what choice do we have? Only God can save us in our situation. If we find it hard to trust God, then at the consecration today, ask God to transform our hearts so we may desire to break free from the slavery of money and of fear. We ask God to transform our minds so we can see things through his eyes. We ask God to transform our lives so we can give glory to him now and forever.